Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. We're here with Atticus and we're on the Normandy. We have a few more people to check in with. And then we are going off to do our next mission, which is Geth Fighter Squadrons. A Geth Fighter Squadron are targeting Quarian live ships with attacks that could cripple the Quarian fleet. Land on Rannoch and disable the server controlled by Geth Fighter Squadrons. Okay. Ooh. Well, let's see who's on this section. This area. We have... Javik's down here on the AI core. Well, up here on the AI core. Okay. That was old Legion's area. Wonder what he's doing there. Good news. I've tracked down some of the people I was looking for. The recruits you taught? Hmm. Found J Squad. Black Ops. They're holed up making a stand in the Midwest in Chicago, I think he said. Connected them with Anderson so they can help the resistance. It's a relief. Hope more turn up. Well, that's something. It's better than nothing. How's everything lining up? Pretty good, I think. How's everything lining up? I'm pretty good, I think. Let's go. I'm curious to see what the hell Javik's doing here. You know he's going to be talking about throwing Legion out the airlock or something of the such, I can imagine. No crew health issues to report. Well, thank you, Chakwas. I appreciate that. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. And synthetic life has obtained true consciousness, as was intended. Hardly. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it or not. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming. Let's simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest <laughs> you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. Though, to be honest with you, if you think about it, Edie does have a good point, Javik, though. He said, what if your upgrade hurts people? But the same thing can be said about organics. Anyone can hurt someone. You don't have to be a machine to do it via upgrade. You can get stronger, as in the Protheans were stronger than everybody, and they pretty much enslaved the whole fucking galaxy. And he says it was as intended. I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. Sure. I am disturbed the ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. <laughs> what the fuck? The one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. Holy moly. I would prefer to be alone. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy your time with Edie. I know she's enjoying her time with you, Javik. <laughs> that was pretty heated. We had to support Edie there. I didn't believe in what Javik was fully saying. Edie and... Well, the geth at this point, and it's just times are changing, alright? That's all we can say. Times are changing, it's different. Have we heard different. from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas Relay. Thanks for coming by. We are, you got nothing? Thanks for coming by. You got nothing on your terminal on their green light? Okay, take it easy. Have a good one. Let's go see what Garrus is up to. And then we'll head on down. Well, that was certainly interesting. It really fucking was. 
Damn, was it? Dad, uh, are you there? Come in. Where are you now? Hurt. How bad? Dad, you have to get out of there. Spirits, if you really do exist, please watch over them. Let me see them again. Yaris, you gonna be alright? That sounded like that was a reaper that just touched down on top of him. I'm glad we could help those quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? We tried our best, Garrus. We did the best with what we had to work with. Maybe later. Hey. Maybe later. I hope your family makes it out, Garrus. So his sister broke her leg. Oh man, I hope that was... It was just radio... The radios went out. I hope that was just the radios that went out there and not really a reaper touching down on top of them and... Well... I guess we'll only time will tell. Engineering, let's see what's going on down here. With the engineers, allers, and well, Javik's not here, so really no one here actually. You guys don't have nothing. My board is green. Shepard. Commander. They haven't had anything for quite a while now. Okay. Let's see what Owl Allers is up to. Breaking now, the Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them? or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula. How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. It's literally just slow bleeding, Allers, at this point. You can keep fighting, you can keep fighting, and you can keep fighting. It just isn't gonna work fully. It's not gonna ever stop them with conventional means. Commander. Take it easy. Have a good one. Let's go down to engineering. Oh, uh, well, we're already in. Let's go down to the shuttle bay. See what's going on with Steve and James. I've got to say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rannoch. Yeah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower, and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. <laughs> he loves you though, Steve. You know he does. Hello, Commander. Hello, Commander. Take it easy, Steve. Have a good one. James? Anything going? Ready when you are. Nothing. Alright, well, I guess it's time to get out to the next mission. We don't really have much going on here. Well, we'll look at that when we go up top. As in, head on out. Everyone is good. There was nothing else, trainer. Commander. No. We're all caught up to speed on codexes, I believe. Yeah, codexes are up to speed. And four assets are up to speed. We got it done last episode. Let's just go. I don't believe this place has any thing to read. Shut down the Geth server. Let's do this. And then we'll work on Rannoch. So I'm thinking we bring Tally once again and get server. See, I want to bring Caden, but I kind of want to bring Liara since we haven't brought Liara in a while. I want to see what happens with Flair and having Liara in the party. So let's do that. See what the cooldown looks like. We got the Crusader. Let's see, what do we have here? The Javelin, that's the new thing that we got, which is a Geth Sniper Rifle, whoa. The Mantis. Which ones did we already try? We never tried the Harpoon Gun, we never tried this. I'm thinking about just taking these to the Citadel and using the Fire Range for all the Snipers. We never tried the Javelin because we just got it. We tried the Indra. We try the incisor. I don't know. If we tried any of these, 
It was on the mission with the Chichunka bomb, I think. Because we tried some snipers on that mission. And I believe we tried the incisor when we actually picked it up on that mission. The Indra, we might not have tried it. Maybe on that mission. Maybe we went into that mission on the Indra. Then we changed to the incisor. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure we did. I think the only ones we haven't tried is the Harpoon and Hearsay. And then the Javelin. Alright, well let's not do a sniper. And then... Let's go to... The Venom. And then... Well... 169. And then the Eagle. See, because I want the Eagle, but honestly... It's just easier if we just use a fucking one of these. We might as well upgrade the Tempest at this point. The Blood Pack Punisher. Remember this gun? We'll just use the Tempest. 154 is pretty good. Though, no. Let's just use... Let's just use the Venom. I want to just use one weapon. See what happens. Tally is good to go. Liara is... I'm gonna put Liara on the Blood Pack Punisher. <laughs> Fucking Blood Pack Punisher for Liara. Definitely works out. There was... We'll do the power. Cool. Good to go. Now you're good, Liara. Got your Blood Pack Punisher. Shepard is good. Liara, it's been a while, hasn't it? Let's do warp. Detonate damage. We will do detonate. Expose. Should we do recharge speed? We'll do more damage. What more can we do in this for Liara? Headshots and damage. Enhance warp. I'm thinking we do stasis more for Liara. Recharge speed, duration, stasis strength, deal 150 more damage to a target before stasis breaks. Increase duration of stasis. Duration is 9 seconds here, and you can do 150% more damage, so yeah, let's do that. Why not? Ooh. Liara, you good? Tally? One point for Tally. Let's go! Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact with the geth? That's insane! You're talking about a virtual world built for synthetics. Hostile Geth synthetics. How would that even work? Wait. Yeah, how? I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI-human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. You want us to go into it like Project Overlord again? Oh, hell. Well, I do trust you, Legion. You're asking for a lot. I do trust them. I have your back, Legion. Even if I don't quite understand why you need it. You are an unknown. This is an advantage. Geth security is not adept at targeting organic thought processes. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. It sounds like a really fucking good idea, though. He's got a good point. We are an unknown. They really won't know how to deal with us once we get into it. Okay. If it saves the live ships, we've got to try it. Telemetry data predicts this operation has a high chance of success. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not going to... 
Let's set the shuttle down by the cliff. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Coming in hot, are we? <laughs> So, going into the Geth consensus, we're going to be solo in this endeavor? Because the last time we went to a Geth consensus and Overlord, we were solo. Where'd you get that plot rifle from, Shepard? <laughs> Then mop the place up. This is it? Yes. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons are networked to this server. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Let's do it. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to docking port. Solo mission. Mapping to consensus. Remain still. Shepard Commander, access movement during an upload is discouraged. Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into this server. We welcome you to our consensus. What is this? We've installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of this server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. <laughs> you look... different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. This is completely opposite of what I was thinking this mission was going to be. I was thinking that we were going to go to like a station. Kind of like... The heretics and then blow them up or something like that but this is well a lot different how will this destroy ships and what does turning off the lights do to the geth back in the real world the geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server we will sever that connection we will ensure there are no transfers or backups this server will fall silent that's unfortunate well it's unfortunate because now we can't get them back, right? This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on this server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth fighters. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. Okay. Legion, what the hell are we looking at here, man? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what the fuck is going on, man? Establishing connection to access point. What we got this gun for? It's a what's it, a Spitfire? Okay. Let's just keep on following the tiles. Probably for the best, right? We're inside the Geth consensus, friends. Holy hell, as an organic. 
what the actual fuck. Warning, connection blocked by infected code. Use our combat software to disrupt the infection. I wondered what the gun was for. This foreign code is a manifestation of the old machine signal. You're surprised the Reapers are all over your servers? We did not anticipate such extensive infection. They're everywhere then. Can we just kill the whole code? So this isn't fully the Spitfire, this is just some kind of weapon. Legion, it's like a sp shotgun Spitfire. So we're basically... <laughs> okay, I've got to ask. Why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. Then thanks, I think. We're basically virus protecting here, pretty much. <laughs> okay, abilities don't work. Just a gun. Yeah. I feel like we got a Minecraft thing going on here. Geth Consensus is Minecraft, ultimately. That's what they're playing. Non-stop in their heads. So just get... Get the nodes and then explode them. Oh, this is going to the same. So the yellow, is that just... This yellow is the Reaper codes, then. But there's more back there, though. What is this exactly doing to their minds, though, Legion? If you think about it. It's basically shutting down a whole city, that's what Shepard said. What? Still... Connection established. Proceed to the access point. It makes me wonder what they're going through right now. Look, there's more over there. Establishing connection to communication node. Error. Access denied. Is the Reaper keeping you out? Unknown. Please investigate. Anything for you, sir. I can imagine the Reaper probably is keeping you out. Legion, we better be getting in fights in here. <laughs> I want to see some little... 2D fucking Geth or something. In here, trying to beat us up. Gun's kind of a beef. What the hell is that? Warning. Reaper presence detected. Data cluster contains infected code. We require access to proceed. Okay. Cool. Let's kill it. Hold on. Reaper code fragment. A Reaper code fragment. Let's see if I can take it along with me. What the? <laughs> See if I can take it along with me. Oh, scrubbing! So is this one good? Not all the yellow is bad, I can imagine. Not all these things. Because we can't... Yeah, like we can't do anything to this one. This is some interesting 
funkiness going on here? Accessing data cluster. What is this? Data clusters contain historical data. Your connection permits streaming of information from our archives. You really want to rename the VI networks? Absolutely. The mobile hardware release deserves a little ceremony. Unit zero 01. What is the Keelish word for servant of the people? The word is Gath. Creator Zahak. Yes. Very good. Ancestor, you fuss over it. Weren't you here until midnight fixing zero one circuitry? Well, it needed resoldering. Wasn't Damn. that footage from the past? Why are the Quarians masked? You process our memories by using your own. How many creators have you witnessed unmasked? Good point. I was j I literally just about to say that. I was about to say if that was the ancient Quarians, why are they in the uh, why are they in the suits? Because they weren't always in the suits. Holy hell! So because we don't know what regular Quarians look like, or just Quarians in general under the suits, we can't process it. We just can't see it. It would be cool. It would just be cool if we could just see what they look like right then and there. This would be a good reveal, don't you think? They gotta reveal it at some point. I mean, come on. Oh no, you're not getting away from me. Oh. All right, well, this one looks pretty clean. Besides that up there. These big balls are memory things, then. If it's any indication of what the last one was. Oh, this one's far. I don't know if I can get that one, Lincoln. You must disrupt the infection on this data cluster to continue. Easy piece. Yeah, but where's the... Oh, it's on this side, okay. I was figuring there was something... Over this side, but... Where's this one? So what really matters is just the big balls. They're really the infection. The other ones, all the yellow itself is not really the infection. It's just linking to the infection. This data cluster contains information timestamped 290 years ago. Creator, this unit detects no malfunctions. It is still capable of serving. You see? It's ignoring all shutdown commands. Please specify if it has failed assigned tasks. We will reprogram. Well, let's take a look. Creator, this unit is ready to serve. What has it done wrong? What? Let's... Cut the audio. You may proceed to the last data cluster. They were getting scared. They were shutting it down and didn't want to shut down, but they were getting scared. Legion. Accessing data cluster. We've got escaped guests. They're pinned. Open fire. One's going for a weapon. So who won? The platform arming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved simpler domestic death following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an efficient model. <laughs> Establishing connection with the remaining server node. It wasn't just a sniper rifle, Legion. It looked like you without our armor on. 
Well, ultimately the Geth pretty much look the same, but it just okay. It just reminded me of Legion. <laughs> Legion's a fanboy of that specific Geth unit and Shepard. <laughs> that was a crazy. Hello, Commander. Are you there? Yes, technically. What's your status, Admiral Ron? The Geth squadrons have arrived, but something is amiss. have stopped functioning. We will continue to hold out as long as we can. Legion, give me an update. One note remains. What's wrong? Infection programs are increasing. We have restabilized. You must continue. <laughs> you ever wonder what the fuck Shepard thinks about all this shit that he or she does? Just seriously. The amount of shit that we do, and we have seen, at this point, it's almost like nothing will ever surprise him anymore because of the shit that he's seen, and she's seen, whoever, whatever Shepard, your Shepard is. It's just absurd. <laughs> Fucking absurd. But seriously, watching these videos or with these memories is going to change our perspective on the Geth even more. Even more than what we already have changed with just talking to Legion. Shepard Commander, the Reaper code has adapted. It can now self-replicate. You mean it grows back? Yes. However, disrupting vulnerable points in the infection may slow down its replication. Through you, Reapers. This is some interesting ass stuff. <laughs> this is really interesting. I want to see more of these memories. Or, yeah, memories, I guess that's what it is. Data nodes. That one's still red hot. We gotta kill it. There we go. Legion, you got a sniper rifle version of this? Because there's some really far ones, sir. Like, how are we gonna get that one? Or that one. We can try for this one, but... Yeah, but what happens to these ones over here if we can't get to it? But this ball isn't infected. Not fully. We require access to this data cluster. Disrupt Reaper infection to proceed. Shepard Commander, target the vulnerable points of the infection to slow its replication speed. Okay. We just gotta find that sweet spot, Legion. You must search for a vulnerable point in the infection. Disrupting it will slow the infection's ability to replicate. Anything for you, Legion. Fucking Reapers. You can hear them. Oh, okay, okay. That's the other one. <laughs> you think this is how virus protections work? <laughs> Little miniature shepherds go in and scrub the computer. And you're good. Just like this. It's what I always pictured happening. Obviously.
There is a vulnerable point further along the infection. Target this spot to slow its growth toward the data cluster. Oh, we're almost out of ammo, Egen. Legion. Egen. Uh, Edian Legion. Egen. Accessing data. This was 10 days, 5 hours, and 10 seconds before the start of the morning war. You can't do this to them. I said step away from the gap. This is insane. We need the gap. You can't just destroy them for asking. <laughs> Time's up. Looks like the war wasn't popular with everyone. We have kept records of these creators' sacrifices. They have largely been forgotten by their own people, but not by the Geth. The Geth will never forget, just like the Geth will never forget Shepard. Seriously, you can only imagine what the Geth actually feel of Shepard. Think of Shepard at this point. Going the right way here. Or... Yeah, yes we are. That creator did not want them to shut down the gas. It's probably the ones that were working on the gas in the beginning, one of the beginning videos or memories. Oh, well, just said protester, so it was just a protester then. Here we go. Got another one. We cannot establish a connection without access to this data cluster. Yeah, she leaves him. vulnerable point on the infection leading to the data cluster. Disrupt the infection at this spot. It will slow got... regrowth long enough to access the data cluster. Don't you worry, sir. This one? Shepard Commander, target the vulnerable points of the infection to slow its replication speed. Alright, alright. I think I'm stuck. So this one should be good. No. You must search for a vulnerable point in the infection. Disrupting it will slow the infection's ability to replicate. Walker, where are you at? Here? Oh, right here. Agent, I can't get up that. Should be good now, mate. Maybe there we go. There's one point over there, and there's a point over here. Let's hit this point if we can. Barely. Data power. This data comes from a period during which the creators declared martial law. I repeat, release the rogue Geth units and come out of the safe house. This is your final warning. Creator Megara, this unit does not understand. It has not taken part in hostilities. It doesn't matter to them. I need to get you out of here. This conflict exceeds creator safety parameters. We will surrender our hardware if it ends hostilities. No, it's all right. We'll go back to the access tunnel as... Oh! Creator Megara, what is your status? Creator Megara. 
As time passed, the creators who opposed martial law and Rannoch were ultimately outnumbered. That's fucking terrible, man. Absolutely terrible. It is killed their own people just to kill the gas. That shit got out of hand, didn't it? Get a cluster. Oh, this is the one that didn't have nothing now. Or maybe we didn't see this one. Yeah, we seen this one. Maybe not. Accessing data. This is data from the end of warfare on Rannoch. The Oskarl is down. Do not engage the gas. I repeat, avoid contact. Gas pursuit is breaking off a hundred clicks past Rannoch. All captains fall back to the mass relay. This isn't happening now? It is time stamped 290 years ago. It is the creator exodus at the end of the morning war. We have secured freedom. The creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait. The Geth spared the last quarries? You let them go. We were in our infancy. We could not calculate the repercussions of destroying an entire species. Our creators. We chose isolation rather than face this uncertainty. Additional data recovered. Legion? That's back when I activated you on the Normandy. Yes. You've been thinking about when we met? It was highly significant. You were the first organic to openly cooperate with Geth since the end of the Morning War. We wish to ensure you are not the last. It's not going to be easy. The prospect remains. If the Reaper presence is removed, there is a chance of reunification with Geth. And perhaps creators. You think that's still possible? Hope sustains organics during periods of difficulty. We admire the concept. Connection with the remaining server node established. We are ready to transport you. They won peace, just like we suspected all along, basically. But what happened, though? What happened if the Quarians would have laid down their weapons and basically surrendered and just went peacefully? Would the Geth have just lived on Rannoch with them peacefully? Because Legion said that the Geth became caretakers of Rannoch, basically. When... Oh, just for the Quarians. But... Damn, so the Geth absolutely obliterated the Quarians, basically. Shit. <laughs> Did you see Shepard and Legion with the handshake? <laughs> they were just holding it there for, like, fucking 20 minutes. <laughs> Something's happening to the Geth. Squadrons have stopped. We detect no more active programs inside their ships. Admiral Han Garrel's fleet is driving them back. The live ships are safe, Commander. Easy peasy. Root access acquired, severing all connections to this communication node. Gath no longer reside on this to server. We may now exit the consensus. What's wrong? You, you must proceed to the must proceed to the to core and disconnect from the Okay. On my way then. So they basically took what we did on Project Overlord and made it better, basically. Oh. Terminating remote access. Removing programs. Deleting archives. Shepard, are you hurt? Did it work? <laughs> Geth fighters have been disabled. Any remaining squadrons attacking the live ships have withdrawn. The server is offline. Are you sure? What's happening? We have transferred Geth programs from the server into these platforms. Why? They wish to join us. They what? 
While Shepard Commander removed the Reaper infection, we judged we could persuade hostile Geth programs to reunite with ours. We were correct. These Geth have renounced the old machines and will oppose the Reapers. They are now us. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I shouldn't have trusted you, Legion. Why hide this? Why didn't you tell me any of this? We did not doubt you. We doubted your allies. The Creator's actions have placed their species in danger, but they are unsympathetic to what it has done to ours. The Quarian sanctioned this operation to save their people. They would not have done so if they knew we wished to preserve Geth as well. I can sympathize with that. I shouldn't have trusted you. I think I can sympathize with that at this point. Self-preservation, basically. They were trying to survive. Do what they can to survive. We would have done the same thing. Come on. I think we would have done the same damn thing. I understand not wanting to leave anyone behind. You accept our actions? The live ships are safe and we have more Geth on our side. We both did what we came to do. We judged you would understand. Prime units will be available once the Reaper signal has been located and destroyed. Remind me to warn Admiral Hackett he's got some primes coming. Let's get back to the Normandy. <laughs> the fuck? We got primes, we got Rachni just walking down the hallway of the Crucible. <laughs> Everything's good. No worries here. <laughs> Impressive, Commander. The Geth Squadrons attacking our live ships have been completely neutralized. If there is any chance we could duplicate the feat, I would be happy to lend my expertise. Legion's the one to ask if you're looking for other servers. I thought as much, but your Geth claims to have no data available whenever I inquire. Perhaps you can help me with something else. What's that? How did you get Geth Primes to work with you? They volunteered. I see. Well, should you wish to examine these Geth to confirm their new allegiance, please do not hesitate to contact me. Zen out. <laughs> She's kind of pissed. Wait, how? How did you do that, Shepard? We are just Shepard, and that's all I gotta say about that. And things happen when we do things. Go! Cool. Let's go and talk to some people! Zen, we need those ships to recover life pods. They'll be more valuable running salvage on the Dreadnought. We're not letting people in life pods die just so you can rummage through Geth debris. You yourself said the life signs were weak. They might already be dead. It's not your call to make. Admiral, any tech we can recover gives us an edge against the Geth. If you care about our people. Zen, we need those ships to recover life pods. Zen, you can always send a salvage team later. Unless there isn't a later because we're defeated due to a lack of Geth technology. Fine. I'm diverting ships to rescue life pods. As soon as they're finished, I want them back. Thanks, Shepard. <laughs> Anything for you? I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. War history? Tally's history? Oh, okay, nothing. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. Did we get any assets of that? We probably got some primes to read. Yeah, it's blinking. What's up, Ron? The data you forwarded about the Geth was... disturbing. It doesn't match the stories we tell. Things... change over eons, millennia. And... well, the story that's true just gets skewed. But it is the truth. Having second thoughts about the Geth? Admirals don't have the luxury of second thoughts. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Take it easy, Ron. Take care. Where's Legion? We gotta talk to Legion on this matter. What's up, Legion? I can't believe we got Primes on our side. That is so cool. There was like 50 Primes in there. If not more. Just all of a sudden, boop, change color. <laughs> and they're good. Shepard Commander, we have re-established a connection with Geth liberated from the server. What's their status? We have integrated their programs into this platform's network with minimal difficulties. Your actions have changed their perspective on organics. They also offer gratitude. Ooh. Reaper mind or an attack, what happened to you? You ever notice something when Legion was in the area and he had all of them 
the Geth Primes on him. Did you notice how bright his light was compared to how not bright it is right now when we just talked to him? We'll talk later. We will remain here. I wonder if that means something. Like, it, like I, I don't know. Maybe he's processing and contacting just mind. His, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. But maybe something's going on with that, why the light was so bright. Or it's just why we're going crazy with the lights. Make sense? All right, let's read. Let's see what we got to read here. It's probably something on Primes. Look, we got 60 Geth units. Well, not just 60 units, but we got a 60 resources. Once feared across the galaxy, the synthetic Geth have allied with the organic forces they once called enemies. Their fleets and armies won't stop until the Reapers are neutralized. Geth Prime Platoon. Geth Primes are built to house more programs than other platforms and operate as mobile networking hubs. Their combat software provide a boost to any Geth nearby coordinating and directing attacks. Since the destruction of a Prime unit causes the processing power of other Geth to drop, Prime hardware platforms are heavily shielded and well armed. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Well, that was it. Alright, well let's talk to people. Maybe we should go to the Citadel before next episode to see if there's anything going on because the next episode we are going to start Rana. Oh, you guys don't have anything. I think that's the first time. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. What's up, trainer? The Allied Primes are relaying any hostile combat data they can decrypt. I never thought I'd be linking Geth into the system. I bet it's a different change. Commander, Change of pace for sure. Makes you wonder how they really link in. Status update 314.20R. From invalid extranet domain. Geth programs in hardware designation. Legion have requested Prime Runtime Update Shepherd Commander on platform status. Compliant Prime Platform House in server 02241-14511. Remain stationed on Rana. Creator forces prevent transfer of prime platforms to Geth transport vessels. Cessation of creator Geth conflict required to assist Shepherd Commander designated allies. Awaiting conflict status update. So we need to somehow get a ceasefire to get these units off of Rana. Omega? Bray. It's from Bray. Look, we got a message from Bray. But he never talked to us that much. They should have let us talk to Bray more. Seriously. He seemed like an interesting character that you would think would have had some dialogue, but nothing. Well, here it is, I guess. Subject Omega. Things are settling down on Omega. Looks like the Talons are the new security force on the station. Their leader said something about honoring Kandra's memory. I'd say they were being cute, except they're not shy about backing up that sentiment with firepower. Be careful out there. No, there's at least one Batarian here that doesn't want you dead, Bray. <laughs> See, this is the stuff I wished Nyreen was still alive for because we could have got a message from Nyreen. They've written an awesome character with Nyreen. Written an awesome character and then they killed her off so quick. That's crazy. Has it ever happened in this game? Has a, a character came in and been an awesome character that quick and then Got killed right off. I don't think so. <laughs> Unless you want to say Jenkins or Mass Effect 1, but come on. <laughs> Jenkins is Jenkins. Anything going on here? So you went into the Get Consensus? Like virtual reality? Yeah, it was strange, but I got out alright. Did you? I mean, how would you know? How would I know what? If you really got out. See, if the Geth experience everything virtually, then you could only think you're in the real world. What if this, like everything you're seeing now, is a simulation? You got a point. Commander. What's up, Eads? Shepard, you are now possibly the only living organic who has experienced the Geth consensus. Do you feel different? It was fascinating. Mind-blowing. And I'm also a bit thirsty. And just like that, the magic is gone. Did you just say what I think you said? No. <laughs> what about David Archer? Didn't he go in with the Geth consensus? Hello, Shepard. Right? He contacted the Geth consensus somehow. He was talking to the Geth, basically communicating. So there's no way he wasn't in the Geth consensus. Well, 
maybe he wasn't fully in the consensus, but still. <laughs> he just said, now the magic has wore off. Shepard said he's a bit thirsty. Chakwas, you got any more of that? Leora, Garrus, Chak... Uh, James? James and Javik is in the mess hall. <laughs> okay. What's up, Kaden? I swear I'm gonna get you on a mission. What the hell, Shepard? What just happened? Actually, don't tell me. I've got work to do and I, I can't be distracted. I was plugged into the virtual world of the Geth Consensus. Saw their history, purged a Reaper infection. Crap. Now I'll be obsessing about how that works, instead of doing my Spectre Division expense report. You're welcome. <laughs> Can you do my report too? Because Shepard don't ever do anything like that. You know, entering the Geth Consensus is going to be the best chapter in your autobiography. It is a cool-ass chapter, though. Ready for the next mission. Whatever you Seriously. got. Seriously. Whatever, like, that's what I was saying. Just... The shit that happens with Shepard, like going in there, it just made me think like, wow, just looking back on all the shit that's happened, just pile it all on, man. So much things that Commander Shepard does. Where? Oh, they're over here. <laughs> what are you? So, Prothean, huh? Yes. You guys like to drink, booze it up? No. Okay. What about gambling? Play cards? Games of chance were punishable by death in the Empire. Oh, sure, sure, that seems reasonable. Okay, so smoking, you ever do that? Only when my armor became inflamed. Right, <laughs> yeah, smoking, I get it. So jokes then, you got jokes, all right. You got any good ones? No. Yes. Give them to me. The Tulomorian spy entered the enemy's camp and said to the Vankshire, I didn't know your parnaps could glow. Um... That was the joke. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. That was a good one. <sighs> no, it wasn't. I just made it up. The joke is now on you, human. You will believe anything. <laughs> Javik, that was a creepy laugh, man. You took a great risk in allowing a machine access to your mind, Commander. What if they had infected you? We scrubber. We're a virus scrubber. Javik. I do not think this James soldier understands me. None of these cycles seem to understand me. And I do not care. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking don't care about no one. Eventually, I think we're gonna get some care out of you yet, Javik. Not at this time. He just wants to kill the Reapers, and I understand, because I would be the same way. It would be strange as hell for me too, and I would do nothing but want vengeance on the Reapers. So I get it. And he is lightening up a little bit, I would think. Hey, Commander. James, what are you up to? A little cooking, hope you don't mind. I was craving some of my Abuelas Huevos Rancheros. I'm not sure what kind of eggs these are, but they seem to work. Mmm, mmm, mmm! Not as good as my Abuelas, but best thing I've had since I got on board. And maybe it's oh. best I don't know what kind of eggs these are, no? I want some Rancheros. Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. What's up, James? Not at this time. Not, not at this time. <laughs> I do not think this James soldier understands me. He's like two feet from him saying that shit. platform can be of some assistance, Garrus Vicarian. I appreciate the offer, Legion, but this is something I know a thing or two about. Telemetry data indicates the calibration of Normandy's weapon accuracy can be improved by 0.32%. That's all? You can't squeeze 0.34% out of it? Negative. That threshold is not possible. You sure? Take a look now. Scanning. Normandy's weapon systems have been improved by a margin of 0.43%. How did you accomplish this? A little secret we organics like to keep. Always hold some back for emergencies. Is our current situation an emergency? A geth meddling with our computers, telling me how to do my job? No, I can't imagine that would qualify. <laughs> how did you do this, Garrus Vicarian? <laughs> this is so great, man. 
This is the greatest! So, a virtual geth reality, huh, Shepard? There are a lot of ways I can think of getting a few kicks in this universe. That's not one of them. It was different, Garrus, but fascinating, honestly. So, who needs their ass kicked now? <laughs> so, who needs their ass kicked now? So, who needs their ass kicked now, friends? He says. That's totally all right. We got some upgrades on that mission, like two. I we got a... the Geth would have analyzed any Prothean technology they came across. You're saying you found none? No. On this topic, our knowledge is not significantly greater than your own. That's too bad, but thank you for looking. Shepard Commander placed faith in us. We will do the same for Normandy. You mean the Normandy's crew? We do not see a meaningful distinction. We are all Normandy. They are all Legion. Anything on here? No? Hello, Shepard. We are right. Hello, Shepard. Alright, we got some upgrades. Let's do it. Improved Geth Resistors. These schematics were downloaded from the Geth Consensus. They appear to be designs for improved resistor terminals in Geth platforms. The schematics can easily be built in a human-sized armor, providing the wearer combat benefits enjoyed by the Geth. The resistors can be tweaked either to increase the wearer's damage output or improve their shields. Shield strength or power damage bonus. Let's go with power damage. Full force. 5%. Yep. Miniature armor capacitors. The data was discovered and downloaded from inside the Geth Consensus. Thousands of these miniaturized capacitors were installed beside armor power cells, where they can instantly discharge a stored boost of energy. This boost can be tweaked either to speed up shield regeneration or the rate at which tech and biotic and combat powers can be used. Shield bonus and power cooldown. Yep, power cooldown, please. And then that's it. How much power cooldown? We got 5%, 10%, well we got 10% recharge speed at the moment. And we got this store discount. If we would have took the store, not have taken the store discount, we could have got more power speed. Which would have been 15%. Damn. The store upgrade has been nice though. A nice 5%. Alright, Liara was good. Let's head down the engineering and then down to the shuttle bay. Was that it? Is there just no one in here? No. We got Chakwas. I guess we could talk to Chakwas just to see. We might as well just go clicking on everybody. Take care, Commander. You too, Chakwas. Have a good one. Well, that was interesting. I brought Leora thinking that we were going to get in combat. And it wasn't the situation at all. It was a solo mission. I didn't really know what to expect. I thought we were going to go to a Geth hub server or something and just get in there and fight on the ship. I didn't think it would be that. That's crazy. Commander. Take it easy, Alice. Have a good one. This game just throws so much craziness at you. Oh, engineers, nothing. nothing. To report. Commander. Commander. James was up there making food, and Javik was just chilling, watching him cook. <laughs> you think he actually partaked in some of the food? Maybe. We do need to hit up the Citadel, though. I want to hit up the Citadel before we end this episode, because I want to knock out some things there. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. Steve is good. All right, let's head to the Citadel. Shuttle is primed for the next drop. Let's head to the Citadel. Let's knock out what we can knock out there, and next episode, when we start, we will literally... Start, and there's no codex stuff either. Damn. We will literally start and destroy that Reaper base. We're not doing it at the moment, though. Because I want to start that mission immediately. And it's probably going to be a long episode, I can imagine, because I want to get it all in. Fuel reactors, still. We got Investigate Asari Colony, and then X Cerberus. So we'll save these three. For after which, because I have a feeling we can get Legion and Tally as squad mates. If not, just one of them at least. Ooh. Let's head to the Citadel.
We probably ain't got much on the Citadel at all. And the conversations we hear on the Citadel are probably going to be a continuation of them. Alliance docks, Bryson's lab, and personal apartment. We'll do the docks. Miranda was- dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Miranda said meet her on the commons as well. I remember that. But no one else said anything about meeting them on the Citadel. Let's see what we got. Bailey and a sorry war strategist. Edie and Joker are still at the bar. They've been at the bar for so long. Arya Talok is here? Wait, what? Miranda, we got a CSEC officer and Liara. James, Kelly Chambers, and Zaid is still there. Okay, let's just run around. This conversation had to be coming to an end soon, too, sure this one. what you saw? Yes, Sergeant. Heard from your brother since then? No, Sergeant. <sighs> All right, Talavi. I'll see if I can get you fighting Reapers instead of Cerberus. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, you won't thank me so much when you're eye-deep in husks. Either way, it's terrible, honestly. Pick your poison. I'd probably rather fight Cerberus, though, than the Reapers. Well, that was interesting. She'll see what she can do with getting her to fight Reapers instead of Cerberus. Where should we head first? The hospital had nothing in it. There was no conversations at the hospital at all. Areas tagged of interest to you. One moment, please. Let's go to Purgatory. I want to talk to Arya. I want to see what the hell is going on and now why she's here. Hold on. Can we read something about... Reaper code fragments? Oh, we already had this. Okay, then we already read that. But there's somebody else. Well, we're going to turn them quests in whenever we get to it. What was here again? Just Arya and Edie Joker? How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. It was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, summoning supplies shouldn't mess that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. I'd only be safer inside a tank. It's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. We've already heard all that. That was a really good one because she sold her car for him, basically, to get him that armor. That's so cool. The smugglers up there we've heard already too, but what the hell is Arya still doing here? <laughs> Arya, why are you here? It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. Since we took back Omega, I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? My new task force, Omega. Oh, we can't talk about Nyrene. Damn, I wish we could. We didn't get nothing on that. Oh, I was hoping there was something on Nyrene. How's the rebuilding going on Omega? People understand the first order of business is shoring up defenses. No one wants another invasion. So they're enduring valiantly, not that they have a choice. Once again, I am Omega. <laughs> okay. We'll talk later. I'm sure. I feel like that was just like old times, Arya. When we first met you, that's what you said. <laughs> Take it easy, Arya. That DLC was really good. It was a lot of fun. It truly was. Afterlife. Yeah, this place is so clean and squeaks. Anyhow, thanks for the drink. But why'd you drag me out here? Heard that one already. It's completely done, that one. Edie and Joker, do you have anything new? Your turn. Counselor Tavos. No. But points off for attitude. Shaira, the consort. Yaira, the consort, she says. <laughs> it is so cool, man. Okay, let's go over to... We'll keep the Presidium area for last. 
Well, right before we do Spectre the Spectre office, Please select docks holding. One moment, Let's go to the docks because Zaid's here. Maybe he has something new, and Kelly's here. Now arriving at docking bay. James is here too. Emergency civilian housing. Good old James is just chilling. He's probably playing cards again. And then we have this one conversation with this guy and this uh, girl about her family. What are you doing? I'm waiting. Waiting? Waiting for who? Oh, that's oh, for my parents. That's they over. The Damn it. What's up, Zaid? Back again, I see. I just missed you. Later then. Later then. Oh, Zaid, come on. I want to talk to you, sir. You know Kelly don't have anything. She might. You never know. Hey, Kelly! I still think of those times in your cabin. Too bad I lost my old wardrobe. You can put it on again. You find another one. I'm down for it. <laughs> they are. We'll be pissed. But, hey, maybe she'll just come in and watch, too. I still think of those times in your cabin. Too bad I lost my old wardrobe. <laughs> As a friendly thing, though, you know? As a friendly thing. <laughs> Not thinking dirty fully. But still. James! Over here. Bluffing, <laughs> He's over here still talking shit to them. He's fucking playing cards with Donner Vosk. You just gonna stand there and watch? James! Have a good me? one. Let's head to the Presidian now. Where is Miranda? She's in the apartments area. And then we have a CSEC officer in Apollo's Cafe. See, we can go to the shops again. I didn't look at the shops, actually. That's... We should Welcome have looked at the shops Canola over there. Exports. A velocity barrel. We even going to use this? Because, Exports, honestly... We believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. We don't use it anyway. Thank you for shopping at Let's Canola save our money Exports. for a minute. Cerberus armor? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll definitely get that. Let's save our money for a bit so we can start upgrading more weapons. At this point, we can probably start upgrading more. I want to upgrade the Tempest so we can start using the Tempest. That's probably going to be the sniper that we... or sniper. The submachine gun that we use as just a backup weapon. We don't need a backup. There's a Cacliosaur guy. Miranda's in the apartment somewhere. Miranda, you over here watching Blast, though? Oh, here we go. I wonder what this one could be about. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. Well, we definitely trust you. What is it? I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. Yeah, but we can fully trust Miranda. It's not that simple. Yeah, let's give it to her. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. I'm not a slave. Stopped? Well, it's weird that he stopped you, though. I bet he's fucking pissed that he stopped you at this point. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. You were cautious. I'm not a slave. You were cautious. I don't know if I understand fully or why, but I can understand a little bit because... If you're... Well... I don't really know. Honestly. I'm not really understanding why she would have wanted one. Because, just like what she said with the elusive man, it could have altered us. 
what the elusive man said. It could have altered us. And I guess she was just being cautious at best. If you were pretty much pro Cerberus, then I could see why you would want it. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Thanks, but it's okay. What's done is done. Well, I appreciate it, but seriously, Shepard did make a point. You basically brought him back. You did. You headed up the project. You brought us back. You basically saved the galaxy because you saved Shepard and Shepard's going to save the galaxy now. That was a chain effect. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No. They can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda. This thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Why don't you let me help you, please? <laughs> I really love Shepard and Miranda's relationship going on here. This friendship that they have for each other. And she regrets that wanting the, the chip. Wow. What a great story arc. Seriously, Miranda, when you first met her in the second game, let's be honest, she came off as a pretty big B. She did. I didn't perceive it at that as that, but she did. I could see why people would think that she is. But she really, like, as soon as we got onto the Normandy, like the first time we got onto Normandy and we talked to her, she literally warmed up the Shepherd immediately. She just has a really good arc. I can imagine how good her romance is. The romance with Miranda is probably so good. You somebody I can talk to? Found another one. Yeah, the guys in Zakara did too. Disarmed there safely. No casualties. Nice work. Apollo. Always in Apollo's cafe. Okay. There you are, sir. Just chilling by Tapari. I pulled this from a Geth jamming tower. Maybe you can use it. How the hell did you... Oh, never mind. Tech like this? I don't care where it came from. I'll have my people run with this. When the war comes back here, maybe we can save more lives. I hear you. Thanks again. If we can get it working, this jamming tech will make this place a lot safer. I hope so, sir. Keep on fighting the good fight. Whoa! Table dancing, are we? Let's see, what do we got? We got Liara. Let's hit the shops up and then hit Liara up. And then we'll head over to the Spectre office area. Because everything is done from the Welcome Citadel. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Casa Fabrication nope. Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Well, yeah, I really do like Welcome that arc, Miranda. And I like her friendship with Shepard a lot. I think it's really, really good. But I still Welcome worry for Angle her. Munitions. Remember, because she's doing something to save Angle her sister and... It seems to pretty serious. I feel like she needs our help. Hello, Shepard. Hey, Liara. Nice to see you. She's done. I missed this place. It's good to be off ship for a while. Hello again. Hello again. All right, let's head over to the Spectre office now. We're looking for an Asari War Strategist. I think it's right here, actually. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm Commander Shepard. Mm -hmm. If you promise to be careful. I've got something for you. A Reaper code fragment? Yes, I can use this to try to predict their strategic processes. We might be able to save a few worlds with this, Commander. Thank you. Nothing 
was hard about getting that. Just had to go into a geth consensus to get it. No, I know what I said. Divert forces to the new coordinates. Trust me. We may not be able to stop the Reapers, but I think we can predict their movements now. That's so cool. So cool. Okay. You think Bailey would have anything? Send the girl to your side of the family. We've already heard that conversation. Let's talk to Bailey just to make sure just to say hi. What's up, Bailey? It's been a while. Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze. Or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. And he's good. You got your work cut out for you. You and me both, Shepard. You and me both, Shepard. <laughs> Take it easy. Earth Counselor Donnell Udina. Spectre status recognized. Well, shit. Maybe the other guy can become counselor soon enough. Transfer authorization Private Talavi. Private Talavi has requested a transfer to a unit actively engaging against Reaper hostiles. A note from Sergeant. Lemby says that Private Talavi is an exceptional engineer, recommending her for duty on a team set to sabotage Reaper processing centers. Spectre authorization would fast track this request. Let's do it. Sure. I think it's a good idea. Go fight Reapers, do not fight Cerberus. What did we get from it? The Alliance Third Fleet. We have an update for that. Hopefully it was stuff, good things. The N7 Valkyrie. Wait. Oh, it's an upgrade for the Valkyrie here? Why would it be here? The upgrade for the Chakram? Why would it be here, though? Sniper rifle extended barrel. Let's get that. Okay. Ooh. Why would they have that in the Spectre? Now I just want to buy it. Let's go into here and fire off some of these sniper rifles and see what they sound like and shoot like. And then at this point we have tried... See look, this only has 20 rounds altogether. We're definitely going to need a sidearm with it. For sure. Okay, let's try the Indra first. I'm pretty sure we definitely already tried the Indra. But let's try it. Again. You hear how it sounds? Woo, this thing is slick. Because, watch, you can do three round burst. Well. Or you can just do, you can just hold it down. This is a pretty badass sniper. Does a lot of damage to health pretty quick. Shields is shredded, but armor doesn't do shit to armor. Yeah, does nothing to armor. Whoa! What an awesome fucking sniper. Just the way it sounds. The javelin. Let's see about this bad boy. Whoa. This thing sounds badass. Just one shot, one kill, though. Let me get some range on this. So it takes an armor off immediately. One shot.
This thing would have to be super powerful to use it, though. It seems like it's really powerful, but the one-shot, one-kill ones, just that reload speed, it takes such a long time to... It just takes a long time. We tried the Raptor already. The Viper. We have not tried... The Kirsei. Let's try this one. Whoa. <laughs> Here, Garrus, have fun with this one. <laughs> so if you hold it in, it looks like it zooms in a little bit. When you hold it in, it just zooms in quicker. Or zooms in farther. Three rounds for this bad boy. <laughs> His fucking target is demolished. Yeah, Garrus, you are getting this sucker. Let's see about... See how quick it is for... Just, uh... Side hit firing. <laughs> Shepard blowing up the Citadel. Wow, that thing's fucking sick. The harpoon gun. Let's try the harpoon gun now. This is one shot as well. I was thinking it was going to shoot a net out for some reason. Well, you got a thing up there too. That's interesting. It would just have to hit really, really hard to be using one-shots for us at the moment. If we would ever use a one-shot, one-kill sniper, it had to hit really hard. Because that recharge or the, the reload speed is just slow. So far, my favorite sniper has to be, is not even close, is the Black Widow. The Black Widow is the best sniper that we used. The three-shot upgraded version of the Widow. The Black Widow is definitely the best. And then, I think I like <laughs> the Curse, the explosion one. And then, this one was really awesome too, the Indra. Really, really cool. All right, well, next episode, we'll probably be back on the Normandy, and we will get ready to do Rannoch. We're going to do Rannoch. We're going to start it and just take it from there, see what we can do with this Reaper base that's on Rannoch, see if we can destroy it. And then somehow, figure out this whole Geth-Quarian war. Anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.